Let's talk about the overall impact of this trip, the policy and the politics. Senior political analyst Britt Hume is in Washington tonight. Good evening, Britt. I want to start off by taking it 30,000 feet. As you look at these images broadly before we get into the nitty-gritty here, your impressions of this trip so far? Well, Brett, it has been the case very often in recent years that when a president went off on a foreign trip, his departure would be noted uh, and the, there would be coverage, but nothing like the extravaganza that we've seen over this past weekend. The, the, this fanfare that accompanied the visit to Saudi Arabia, the extent of the welcome, uh, while it wasn't quite the show in, uh, in Israel today that it was in Saudi Arabia, another warm welcome as well. And it frames the president, this president in particular, in a somewhat different light than we've been seeing him when he was struggling uh, with the controversies that are swirling around his presidency in Washington. Now he's off doing the business of the presidency, the unmistakable business that only a president does. And I don't see any way around the fact that it's going to help him, at least in the near term. While he might have been able to do the sword dance a little bit more effectively, he still he still looked good in this in this uh, in this atmosphere and and in the actions that he carried out over there. Yeah, striking the Saudis and what all of them said, and we're going to talk to another uh, Saudi cabinet member a little bit later in the show, and then the king of Saudi Arabia. But listen to the prime minister of Israel with the president today. America welcomes the action and support of any nation willing to do the hard but vital work in eradicating the violent ideologies that have caused so much needless bloodshed and killing here and all over the world. Common dangers are turning former enemies into partners. And that's where we see something new and potentially something very promising. For the first time in my lifetime, I see a real hope for change. You know, Britt, I've been on a lot of foreign trips. You've on, been on many more than I have. Uh, to hear leaders talk like that in two different places, like Israel and Saudi Arabia, is, is striking. It is striking, Brad, and it, and it does raise the possibility that there could be at least a kind of detente between uh, many of the Muslim countries and Israel. Saudi Arabia appears to be a good candidate for that. Uh, John Roberts pointed out the symbolism of the president flying from Riyadh directly uh, into, into Israel, and, and that is not without meaning in a setting like this. So I think, you know, there's reason for hope here and of course the size of that summit with 50 Muslim nations gathered there in common purpose and the president leading them with a speech that seems to be quite uh, seems to have been quite well received obviously fits into that as well so you know so far so good it seems to me just looking at it in terms of the of the impact of the trip and especially politically here at home but very quickly, Britt, now to the nitty-gritty. When the president steps up and says reporters don't leave the room, I never said the word Israel about that story, uh, about what he told the Russians in the Oval Office. Does that step on what is a pretty good message overall for the past three days? Well, it certainly was picked up uh, this afternoon here in Washington by the, uh, the news media who's you know, on the air all day long and, and pointed to as a kind of a blunder. Um, CNN was noting that, for example, no one had ever reported, and I guess John Roberts said the same thing, no one had ever reported that Israel was the source. But as you recall, Brett, there were a multitude of source reports that said this did indeed come from right. Israel. The problem, of course, with what the president says was that it appeared to confirm that. Uh, that's obviously not what he intended because he was thinking, as he so often does, about himself and whether he was to blame, but I think that was the effect of it. So these are the kinds of things that when the president sticks to his script, he avoids, and when he doesn't, he doesn't. All right, Brett, as always, thank you. You bet, Brett.